Uh, it's a week where we like, Sam, to uh, focus on the contribution. I mean, Chinese footballers and Chinese Australians have made a great contribution to the game. I know it's something that's dear to your heart, uh, and it's a time for us not to... How do you rate them? Uh, do, do you have, a, in your order, the greatest uh, Chinese-Australian rules players <laughs> in history? Thanks for asking, Mick. No, it's uh, Long time... Where would you... Well, I'm honest, where would you put... Well, your well, top I'll tell you what, about, where would you about 15 years ago, a good friend of mine, a, a, a brilliant writer and journalist, John Harms, and oh, I, yeah, we course. did a, a thing on radio called The Search for the Greatest Chinese Footballer of All Time, right? right? Okay. Anything to fill an hour, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I, oh, just, yeah. just for the sake of, you know, a bit of the, uh, just to get the, the ball rolling, yep. I put myself up as the greatest, right? Oh, just why as, not? And then, uh, by the way, you know, throughout the, the radio show, people just kept on ringing in and, and eventually I dropped down the list. And the two greatest, right, yeah. were Les Fong, who played yeah. in the Waffle, almost 300 games in the Superstar, Waffle, found yeah, this out. Yeah. And then, of course, the greatest... Chinese football of all time is a bloke who played four games for Carlton in 1908 senior games yeah. called Wally Koo Chu. Right, okay. Wally yeah. Koo Chu. Yeah, now. What's the Wally Koo Chu story? I just said four games for Carlton <laughs> in 1908. Oh, that's so it. that's about it. Now, I'm assuming we don't have Wally on the show no, tonight, Murray. Sadly, past Wally Koo Chu, yeah. 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 Well, then again, he could still sit in your chair. And we'll know <laughs> but, well, who do you like? Who's your. Who's, who do you rate? Oh, Les Fong. Les Fong. Well, you've, got, you've got the footy card there. Can this you carry this round? This footy card here I carry around. Like, it's, like my pa it's like my passport, by the way. <laughs> I, I carry this with me. He's on my, he's on my notebook here he's as well. On your notebook. That's true. That is true. Yeah. I love this man. And, um, Would you call him the well, greatest living Chinese-Australian AFL player? Yes, well, I would. Well, Sam, to that end, please make Les Fong. Hey! Welcome. He's getting a bit emotional, Les. Yeah, right. It's a big moment for him. Can I just say, Les, you're, you're like the father I never had. <laughs> no, 284 games, 332 go goals, six state appearances for WA. All those games and goals are kicked for West Perth. I mean, I've spoken to a couple of West Australian mates of mine today, and they, you're, you are the legend of Les Fong over in Western Australia. Needs no introduction. Uh, your, your contribution to the game over in the West is... Significant. So it's a joy to have you on the show. Can we have a look at some highlights? Uh, let's let's, let's some do it. I mean, anyone who may not. <clears throat> Sam, what is your yeah, Just in case you're wondering, that's Les there, by the way. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty easy to point out, by the way. But this is you playing for West Perth, Les? Yes, yes correct. Yes. And, um, man, what was it like back, back in the day? The wa waffle, the, the halcyon days of the waffle? Oh, what? Oh, look, I think the, the 70s and the 80s, it was at its pinnacle before the national competition got underway. There's a good yeah. roost here, Les. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us, as, tell us about yourself as a player. I mean, clearly you're a rover, but you, tell us about the, the what, you, Derek, what you brought to the table for West Perth weekly. Oh, look, I, th I think it was just the case. I used to try and treat each game as being my last game. Yep. Uh, that's the attitude I took right through, all the way through, and uh, it seemed to work. And uh... I mean, this is a brilliant goal, Sammy. I mean, this is one of the all-time. This is one of the greats. It is one of the greats, and uh, we've watched we've watched Les's enjoyed Les's highlights all, all week. Uh, mate, did you? You've, you've played your whole career in the Waffle, though, and how close did you come uh, to coming over to the VFL? Well, I went, I went fairly close. Uh, I, I first got approached when I was about 15 from Richmond, actually. Uh, the mum's still got the telegram somewhere at home, I believe. <laughs> and then I suppose these days it's like mature age recruit. I uh, played a state game against Victoria in 1980 and had a reasonable game. And then I had some offers come in from there, particularly it Collingwood, who are very strong. South Melbourne, though, no one back in those days. Uh, yep. So there was some, some opportunity. Yeah. Who'd you play on in that state game? Uh, Lee Matthews and Gary Wilson with the Rovers. Well, Gee whiz. Oh, sorry, Tim Watson, was Tim Watson in that game? Yeah, Timmy, yeah, Timmy played in that game. We told Timmy today that we were, had you on the show and, and he asked us to record this video message. Yeah, I remember Les Fong, he was a really good player, like a really good player. Can you, can you just lie that camera for a sec? Can you tell the boys, if they ever play that Ruby song from 12 Footy Favourites again, they'll hear from my lawyers, OK? <laughs> All right? And I'm not joking. <laughs> Read the song off this album here. <laughs> Do you want to have a listen? Have a listen. This is it's really good. <laughs> How's that, Liz? <laughs> Don't take your love to town. It's a promise, Tim. We won't do it. 
Hey, Les, I don't know whether you got asked through your, when you were at your peak year powers playing over in the Waffle to record a song on a, on a particular album or not. You, clearly, judging by your response, you didn't. But you did. Yeah. You did get a set of gates named after you. The, the honour uh, must have been enormous when, uh, when the local footy club said, listen, we'd love to honour your contribution to the club by... Uh, erecting the Les Fong Gates. That yeah. must have been pretty special for you. Oh, it certainly was. Uh, a bit of a story there, of course. Uh, when they initially uh, put those gates up, I was invited to go along with myself and my, and my wife and my good self. And they didn't tell me, of course, there's miscommunication, yep. obviously, because I was supposed to go up another set of stairs. Instead of that, I went through the gates and had to pay for myself to oh. go through. <laughs> <laughs> what? Through the Les Fong entrance? So, it's not so, on. Yeah. Anyway, they did apologise in the end. <laughs> I, I've got one last one for sure, you. Sure, go for your life, Les, how much of a novelty were you, actually, as a, as a Chinese footballer in the waffle in the 70s, 80s playing? There, there wasn't many of you, were there? Uh, no. No, there wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, there wasn't. Uh, yeah, I, th I don't know why. Obviously, I suppose there was a lot of uh, Asian Chinese people that weren't that keen on football at that time. But, so. but because of, your, because of the, the player that you were, you were treated at, you know, equally and, and you, know, you were the captain of the club at some stage. Uh, yes, so I was fortunate. Seven years I kept in the club. Uh, what was your nickname, Les? Well, it was Chopsticks. <laughs> well done, Australia. Well done, Australia. You are hilarious. Well Do you know time. what Sam's was? Do you know Sam's nickname? Yes, Orchid. <laughs> Hey, times have changed, by the way. You know, on this on this on this show, I'm called the Orchid or Pangy or Lazy Susan. It's all great. <laughs> <laughs> That's, um, mate. It's how good is it? Les, well, it's great to have you board. on. Uh, we might. Uh, we might see you a bit later. We yeah, might. Can we you might stick around for a little while? Sure. For the yeah, end. Right. Don't go anywhere. Les, I'm going to stick around. Don't go anywhere. Here we, we go. Another legend from out the west, Chris Lewis.